And that little bit of confidence and that bit of self-esteem, having that in yourself, is the difference between gambling and going forward or being tentative and holding back because you don't believe in your own ability. Crossing were appalling from both both flanks yesterday, I'm going to be honest. You know, so, you know, last five minutes, we had so many opportunities to get that ball in the box. And Britain was out late yesterday, I agree with Luke. And we wasted so many good opportunities. There were one where I think we built up the play well and he was on the overlap and he just absolutely smashed it. No intention of having a look up and just definitely putting a chip in or, you know, and, you know, yes, last last season, sorry, he was a complete opposite player, especially for six, seven months. I think back end of last season, he dipped. Um, which every player does, every player's a dip in form, but it's just been every game, he just looks, it, his confidence is shattered, and, uh, I, you know, the day that he scores a goal, I'll buy a lottery lottery ticket, because again, he had a really decent opportunity, and it's just gone into, you know, upper tiers at Ponty end at back, and, um, you know, he's not only one, I think Elliot played okay in first half, but he's not the same player, that he were last season, people are going to question, players that he's playing where you're not as good, um, but I also just question, the self-esteem is, you know, they're not doing the same things that they were last season. Sibic, I thought that he improved last season, but he's gone backwards again. Maybe because Solbauer was not there, I felt that he had a massive impact on Sibic's development, Solbauer last season. Um, and the other players inside, Palmer, not even involved yesterday. Um, you know, starting 11, I didn't agree with it. I thought Moon, you know, he's a descent defender, so why we played him in midfield did not make sense. However, I thought he did okay. Did the basics all right. Did some actually some decent passing at times in the second half. I think he grew into it. I think first 15 minutes with Norwood and Fleck. Very experienced players. Very good players. And I think he just got exposed a little bit. And I think we were out past. I was concerned about that at the start. That they just have too much risen with, with midfield battle. Brim and Gomez did all right. I think the, the thing for me, I keep saying it's distribution. It needs to be quicker. We're dawdling on ball a little bit too long. We're taking one second too long. And then we're either getting tackled and losing possession. Or... You know, we're, we're, we're panicking because we know somebody's on us and we're just making that quick pass that's not on. Or, you know, you know, and then it's transition of play and then they've got the ball. Whilst if we're just, for me, two-touch football. And it's simple to do. Get out your feet, pass. Get out your feet, pass. Just keep moving ball about. Um, but we did that more yesterday. There are some good things that I thought that we, we did. Um, but overall... You know, we still lost the game and those two goals did the sugar coat it, maybe, yeah. But uh, I'm going to praise Cole. I'm going to praise subs that came on. Um, that's something that's been lacking is the impact of subs that's come on in, in recent weeks. But Leia Seca got a goal, looked good. One of, been, one of been one of our little bright sparks is Leia Seca and I think he needs to start alongside Cole at Bristol City next this Saturday. That's my opinion. If You know, that I, you know, I think you've, you've got to back him. You can't just then put Freeze and Adebay Ajo back in. People go, well, yeah, they only got a goal off bench, but at some point in time, we've got to give whoever, whoever starts up front in that Freeze some games together. Freeze were non-existent, um, very, very off it, offside so many times in first half, simple simple stuff as a striker. And he's just straying offside at time and time again, very frustrating. Uh, Woodrow, very quiet yesterday. You know, you need your bigger players to step up to the plate in local derbies and they just weren't there, I don't think, personally. Um, and I, I don't think a free suits him. I think he's better in a two person. I think he's better with a big man. Which maybe if Alari came on, you know, but again, we're not changing system. I think this is the thing about stubbornness. I go to, I go to shop. I think he's so stubborn, he doesn't change formation. He doesn't think, right, we'll change it to two up front or we'll change it to... You know, four at back or anything like that. It just stays same. Regardless of how game's going, it just stays same formation. It's like banging your head against a wall and expecting it not to hurt. It's going to hurt, isn't it? Um, but it keeps doing it regardless. Um, but those two goals were two really good individual goals and two goods of build-up play. And Cole said at the end of the game, I'll go to that, that the lads got together at 3-0 and showed a bit of fight and more or less said, wait, we'll do it on his own. Which, what does that say? So they've done done that on their own at last 20, brought it back to 3-2. And I think in Sheffield United were hanging on there at the end. And that's, you know, no disrespect to all Sheffield United. I think overall they deserve to win the game. Um, you know, I think at first half they were just slightly edged it as better side in first half as well. And obviously they got three goals in second half. But at the end we could have got, got a point there. 
if we'd have a little bit about us, and again, it goes to confidence. I don't think um, if if we were as low in confidence, uh, we concede those goals. And also, I think going forward, we maybe have a bit more conviction about us, clinicalness about us going forwards. Um, and people, th you know, people think it's um, the turning point. In that um, I don't, listen, I, I respectfully disagree with you. I, I think um, whilst this manager's here. I don't think there will be, you know, that flash of those 20 minutes just showed everything that the lads grouped together. And I think I've said it, I said it and um, to Stephen Luke afterwards that I think there is potential in these players, but they need managing properly. They need a man manager. And um, I don't understand why he's not got the sack. It's one win in 15. That is appalling record. Appalling. I was he still at the club? You know, and you might be, you might be pro board, you might not be. Listen, I, I, I'm not, I've always been on the edge of not being. Um, but I've respect to why people have been pro board. I get the reasons why I understand that. My personal opinion is that I don't like a lot of the things that they do. But even if you're pro board or pro what, what's going on with the recruitment and all that stuff, you've got to question, why have they not made that decision to get rid of him? On what basis are they still keeping him at the club? People will yell out, Chief Exec's not been here, here long. Well, if he's not been here, but he knows he was coming in, he should have been looking at results anyway. If he weren't here in person, and results themselves to say a lot. One win in fifteen, we'd be bottom at league if it weren't for Derby. You know, it's not good enough. And um, at the end, again, fans voiced the frustration at shop because they know for a fact he's going to be here tomorrow, and he is. And um, I, there's a, somebody saying, "Why, why has the shop not walked away? He's not going to, is he? He's picking up a wage." He's not going to walk away. He's going to keep getting getting a wage whilst he's told otherwise and he's been relieved of his duties until the club pay him out with his contract. He's not just going to walk away because he's obviously on a lot more than he were on in Austria wage-wise a week. But he needs to go. It's as simple as that. I cannot believe they've not got rid of him. And um, people, again, there's there's some there's some stories going round about... Uh, we're not going to get rid of him because we won't be bringing anybody else in. There were a post put up saying that um, somebody spoke to Conway and the, the sympathise with manager with injuries. And yeah, it's not been great. You know, we've not had the same look as last season. We get that. Um, but that's no excuse, in my opinion. We, we should have been setting up better from a lot earlier on. And for me, should have gone after Blackpool. It's as simple as that. That performance at Blackpool, that was the, uh, the turning of the tide negatively. And the fans have not obviously come back because we keep losing games comfortably. I think yesterday 3 0. Listen, if they stayed at 3 0, I think it'd have been a lot uglier than it were. I think we the fans appreciated the performance in the last 20 minutes. They appreciated the fight and the character of the players. And we've got to praise that and say that, you know what, the bit, you know, the bit the gum shield, they didn't just lay down. We did initially, didn't we, at 3 0? Let's be honest. It was very easy, the goals that we conceded. And now we're like, God, here we go. You know, it could have been four or five. And I think it, that's due to Sheffield United taking the foot off the gas a little bit. Um, and just knowing that they probably won the game and not expecting us to bounce back and come back into it but credit to us we kept fighting showed a bit of character and I think with the right manager I think there is something there there were, there were signs there um, and you think with a better manager with the players coming back like the Morrises like the Andersons like the Bensons like an area that's fully fit playing in a better system that suits the team with a manager that's a good man manager that can put arm round shoulders of, of the players that gets the gets the players, that implements a system that suits them, a bit of freshness, bring a bit of positivity into the changing room. We could change things and I think we can get out of this bottom three. And listen, the remit for us now is staying up the season. It's as simple as that. Um, and, and there is time to, to change it and there is time to rectify things. But the longer they keep going on with this manager, the damage is going to be just worsened and worsened and long term for the players in terms of the confidence, in terms of just losing games. We're going to get cut adrift at some stage. The longer we keep this manager in, I can't see the next game that we're going to win. And that's not me being pessimistic. The results are there to see. One winning 15. You know, there's been no sign of... Uh, we've not even been close to winning a game in those 15 games, in the in those 14 other games. Birmingham, maybe, yeah, first 20, and then we've switched off, and then QPR, first 45, and then it substitutes, killed us. And um, we we're, we're holding on there at QPR. That's probably the best performance we've had, you know, this season, and we drew. Even Coventry, you know, we should, we could have and should have lost in some instances, you know, 
Collins kept us in game and they didn't finish and we got that goal and hung on. And that's been his only win at season. Um, but even the most optimistic fans can't think this is acceptable. Is it enough time now? It's November next week. And he's still in this position. One win in 15. 